Hey there, hat hair. Hello. Oh no. What were you starting to tell me? I, uh, I have. That was what. That was my last apron. Your last apron? Uh, yep. So we need to make do laundry. Uh, yep. Okay. Yeah. I'm on it, Hannah. Thank you. I'm gonna have to really work with you and teach you how to do your own laundry next, aren't I? Uh oh, yeah. Yeah. But do you want to tell all of our friends? the steps that you've taken toward independence this week? Of course I will. See how proud you are of yourself? <laughs> yeah. So, um, a long time ago, I used to have mom do it, do like everything for me, like my hair and everything and my lunch and my breakfast, putting that together. But now I wanna let mom and dad sleep. Because it's summertime, right? Yeah. And so the only reason that we had to get up was to get you on the van. And of yeah. course, David with his summer classes. And I started thinking, yeah. why in the world am I doing this for a 20 and a 24 year old? They can get themselves on the van, <laughs> yeah. get your own breakfast, get your own <laughs> lunch, get your own stuff together, Yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you've been doing that completely independently all week long. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, Hannah, all you have to do is learn how to do laundry, uh -oh. cook your own food, uh -huh. right? Yep. And you could almost consider living away from your parents. Uh, I don't want to live away from you. <laughs> I don't want you to either. But, but you know, isn't it nice to know that you have the um, skills and the ability to do that one day? Oh, yeah. We're getting there, aren't we? Yep. Yeah, so Bethany's next on the list. You and David are doing a great job with that. Bethany's next on the list. Oh, yeah. And I don't think that Abby will probably ever get to the point where she she's always going to need some supervision. Of course, Jesse and Obed need just about everything done for them. But uh, to get you three to doing things like this independently? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes me very happy. Uh, thanks, Mom. And I really appreciate i tell you what, yeah. it, it has made a world of difference for me just having that extra hour or two of sleep in the morning. Yeah. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. I don't even notice you guys being down there. You're doing a super great job until you yell up and tell me you're leaving, which is great. Yeah. Yeah. So mm -hmm. keep up the good work. Thanks, I will. All right. Now go fix that hat hair. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that funny? Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. You? Why am I so funny? <laughs> because you want the house to be all, uh, because, I mean, the laundry room looks like a hot mess. The laundry room does look a, like a hot mess right now. <laughs> we have stuff everywhere, dog beds, hey. kids clothes, <laughs> everything everywhere. There's a load in each machine. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Hannah. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. And why do you, when you come into my bathroom, why do you want to come through the laundry room? Because I've seen the carpet before under, under my toes and uh, it's just not for me. <laughs> You refuse to step on my rug, don't you? Yeah. Because it's a shag rug. Yeah. You refuse to step on my rug and you refuse to step on the rug in the family room. Yeah. You know that's just a little kooky, right? Yeah, but I like these floors. I like the hardwood floors. I, these floors are very shiny. <laughs> you just like a tiled floor under your tootsies? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and I like the... The, the, the carpet in my room is nice and rough and flat. <laughs> so you don't mind it when it's when it's flat and a low pile. You just don't like those big squishy carpets. Ooh, no, no thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you are so weird. I know. Delightfully no weird. Ah, uh, thanks. No offense or anything. No, no offense taken. <laughs> All right, well, carry on then. Okay. Off you go through the laundry room. Okay. Bye-bye. Adios. Toodles. Hey. Okay. Toodles. Yep. Oops. No. My stars. You were right the first time. <laughs> the name of star. How many times name. have you gone through here and you can't even figure out what the door is yet? Well, 85 billion. <laughs> At least. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> so, Hannah. Yes? 
everybody wants to know like all the kids have been oh he's gonna be he's gonna be loud we're oh, gonna have to Lord. go in the other room okay <laughs> so hannah yes so everybody wants to know oh there he goes again uh, inquiring minds want to know everyone is saying how all the kids have been seen on video interacting with arnie mm -hmm. everyone except you is there a reason for that well it's because i like people only you like people only yeah not your cute little puppy dog no you want to tell us how you really feel um so a couple of times when he first got here i did not even want to st uh, step foot right right in right in front of him to see him because i i have tried to avoid it avoid him <laughs> why he's so adorable well he he jumps on me and i don't like that well we have to train him not to do that Mm -hmm. You raise up your knee and you say off in a nice way, but he, sh he and just ignore him, and then he won't do that anymore. No. And um, I also do not want to interact with with you know who, who, Arnie. Okay. Is because I like to interact with my other siblings better. Oh. And it messes up my routine. You're missing out on all the cute little puppy stuff, though. I know. It's because... But I've seen you smile. Well, not unless he barks in the key of B-flat major. <laughs> if he barks in the key of B-flat major, then all is well? Yeah. And you think he's cute again? Well, yeah, but I don't want to go near him at all. Jeez, Hannah. You know that's ridiculous, right? Well, I do like people only, not animals. So I guess this answers the question about you ever getting a guide dog. Yes. Not happening? No. Okay, that's the doorbell. You're done. Oh. Thank you. Oh. So what is so funny? <laughs> so I was cracking up so hard last night for no reason. Um, okay. <laughs> so it's no reason, but do you have a reason? It's our secret language that David and I do. <laughs> Did you just start thinking about the secret language? Yeah. How does it go? Well, it goes, but no. But you know, I thought that was the chant. No, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, um, David asked me what was so funny. And then uh, Bethany started to record me on her phone. But that's the chant, not the secret language. No, no. The, the, the secret language just, I was about to start jumping up my stool. What? Like, like I was, I know. It, that, that's the weird thing about it. I'm just beside myself. What is, all right, try to compose yourself and tell me that secret language again. Okay, so our secret language was like, um, so every time we do our secret language, uh, it, it has chanting in it, yes. And um, I was, I was laughing so hard because Bethany recorded me on her cell phone. Oh my gosh. And I just bursted out laughing so hard. Kind of like instant gratification. She played it back for you. Yeah, and she sent it to me on my phone. All right, what does it sound like? So it sounds like, so it sounds like, no, what does like I saw fun night. And then I'm like, yo. You are so weird, yeah. Delightfully weird. Thank you. Oh my gosh, Hannah. <laughs> so why were you and David talking with the secret language? It's because he wanted to make me laugh. Oh, well that's sweet. Oh. So what does he say? So he's does like he say the same thing or is his language different? I think he says the same thing and oh. he he started he starts chanting up a storm. Yeah. <laughs> and then and then and then Bethany starts laughing so hard. So you guys just entertain <laughs> yourselves with a secret language, just like you did when you were little kids. Yes. You'll never forget about it. Never forget. No. <laughs> so, like, when you're my age, are you going to secret language each other on the telephone? I guess so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a sibling bond for you. Yeah, it is. 
I'm glad you're beside yourself. Yeah. Did you have a good day at work today? Yes. Okay, anything exciting? <laughs> I scooped chocolate chip cookies. Okay, that's exciting. Yeah. It'd be more exciting if you could eat chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> yeah, it would be. You're easily amused, Hannah. Thank you. <laughs> Are you excited about anything today? Um, having dinner at 5 p.m. <laughs> An early dinner excites you? Yes. All right, well, I'll get on it then so that that can happen. Yeah, because of AIO coming on at 8 p.m. <laughs> A-I-O. Adventures in Odyssey. You still like Adventures in Odyssey, don't you? Yes. All right. Well, you guys can, can get out of here, finish your meal, and go enjoy that and have a secret uh, secret chat down there. <laughs> yeah. Okie dokie then. Yep. So yesterday I was recording you talking about You Know Who, our little canine companion, and you were expressing your displeasure in the little guy. Yes. Oh, you're probably you're just I don't know you just don't really care you know it's not that you don't like him right it's just that you don't really care is yeah. that correct would that be accurate yeah that's pretty accurate yeah. okay but you're nice to him and stuff so did you have something else that you wanted to add we were interrupted by the doorbell boy okay so go, <clears throat> so when we were interrupted by the doorbell I I wanted to say that um, my I, I'm right. I'm about ready to say that having a long white cane is is enough instead of a guide. Oh, dog. when we were talking about the guide dogs, yes. that you're more of a cane girl. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. It's a personal preference between each each individual, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cause um, even though I don't know, I can't see my own uh, mobility skills out in public, but I'm assuming that they're okay. Do you just not trust a dog, or do you, you just don't want to take care of a dog? It's both, all um, of the above. Well, you got to know yourself. Yeah. That's important. Mm -hmm. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I have known some people who have had guide dogs, and they go back to the cane. Boy. Because they have realized that it was too much for them. Yeah. But, um, but you know, we're probably going to have a guide dog or two in our family, because I think David and Bethany, both of them are interested in guide dogs so we'll see how it goes uh -huh. but was that all you wanted to add yeah that's about it yeah. when we were interrupted by the doorbell <laughs> yeah we had a painting contractor come over to give us an estimate right yep yeah mm -hmm. we'll see how that goes it probably won't be till winter time before we get some of this painting done just and i'm only having the painting done that i can't like i won't get up on scaffolding no. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm too old and I have too many kids for that. Yeah. So the two-story painting, the very difficult painting that is in the foyer that's way up high, and anything outside I'm not going to do. Oh, yeah. Does that make sense? I guess so. <laughs> you don't care, do you? No. Do you care? Hey, do you care if your house looks pretty or not? Well, uh... I can't see if it looks pretty or not, but... Well, we know that. <laughs> um, I guess as long as I'm living in it... Yeah? Then it's just fine. So, would you care what color the walls were painted or... Um, let's see, the things about decorating are like nice, comfortable furniture... Yeah. You know, light fixtures, pictures, curtains... Ooh, yeah. Do you um, care about any of that stuff? Uh... It, it's the the curtains I, I I would tolerate curtains as long as I don't have tassels on them okay and um, <clears throat> you know that curtains will help with energy efficiency and they make your they can keep your house cooler okay. and warmer and they keep out drafts yeah right and they add privacy so there's more than just the decorating aspect oh yeah right i mean you you close your blinds and open your blinds mm -hmm. so you care about that yeah and like you care about your shower curtain mm -hmm. right yep and do you care about what color your walls are um no not really <laughs> do you know what color your walls are uh no i forgot <laughs> You forgot? Yeah. What color is your closet? 
Oh, a, a hot pink. Hot pink, kind of like your shirt that you're wearing. Yahoo! Yeah, and your bathroom's the same color. Oh, wow. And then your walls in your bedroom are gray. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. But do you like um, do you like that nice bed to sleep in? Oh, yeah, it's, 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 it, it took some getting used to, but it's, after all, it's comfy. And do you like having your bedding? Oh, yeah. See, all that stuff is part of decorating. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it's about, it's not just looking pretty, but it's about keeping the family comfortable, too. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So when you sit down, you like to sit down on a sofa or a chair? Or do um, you just prefer to sit on the floor? Um, I prefer sitting, like, on any, on anything. On anything? Yeah, like, um, the, in the rec room, the chairs in front of the Alexa device. Okay, so you do like to have furniture to sit on. Mm -hmm. That's part of decorating, too. Yeah. Yeah. So there's functionality. Yeah. As well as everything else. Mm -hmm. And you seem to get excited, like when we did your closet and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could have just kept a rod in there and just stuck everything willy-nilly in there. Yeah. Like we used to do, and like most people do, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but do you like it better done up nice? Oh, yeah. I like... I like your... I like... Your upgraded version of my closet, yeah. Okay, well, then that's part of decorating. Yeah. So, all right, well, that's interesting. Yeah, the belts go with the belts and the shirt, or the... the... So, organization. Yeah, I like everything in its place and a place for everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yeah. always is uh, makes things flow smoother, right? Mm-hmm. All right, then. We'll just keep going, then. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your opinions. Uh, you're Every welcome. change has a reason.